All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back. It's Nicolex here. Um, so today, oh, we're going to continue playing Little Hope. Um, I know that I said that I would go ahead and uh, try to do it for an hour each day, but I think I'm going to cut it down to 45 minutes because um, my audio was doing something else. Fine. Had a, Don't believe me. You too. I had to do like a backwards way of, uh, that's a body by the way, um, backwards way of putting it in, so there's that. Also, I wanted to check out the pictures and secrets that we have. Um, yeah, I don't think anything has really changed. Secrets, I definitely want to check this out. Uh, visitors map, map that outlines key areas around the town showing the witch trail of historical exhibits and sites. A quote flyer. Animal Flyer from 1970 advertises a talk on the occult given by Reverend Carson, who will advise parents on the warning signs. Okay. War photo. Photo dated 6 June 1917. Some of the faces in the photo appear familiar. And Newspaper Town closes. Newspaper article on the disincorporation of Little Hope following the shutdown of the factory and the result masses in the resultant mass exodus of the population. Okay. All that seems to be pretty fairly normal. He's in good standing with almost everybody except Angela, but is that really surprising? No. Alright, so let's go ahead and continue on. We need to stick close. By the way, the guy in the bar, I think he's one of two people, and I'm more leaning towards the first one. I'm kind of scared of my big good time event. Did you hear that? Um... What on earth is that? Okay, very good. We're freaked. Who's there? Whoever you are, this isn't funny at all. John, where are you? Daniel? Taylor? Come on, John, where are you? This isn't funny! I don't know if it's just me, but this shit's looking hot and choppy right now. Okay, so the guy in the bar, I'm thinking that's either our boyfriend from the beginning. Hey, wait for us! Oh, I'm not liking that. What is that? Oh god, I really don't like that. I really don't hey. like that. Let me check this before something happens. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? I think it's either, uh... Not a clue. Taylor or whoever she was, her boyfriend. Tanya. Tanya. Tanya's boyfriend? Oh. Oh. Oh, Jesus Christ. Oh, secret found. Okay. Okay, yeah. <laughs> okay I'm done. Hey, how how's it going? You good? Oh, no, Fuck no. you! Oh. oh god, why did it wait so long to do something? What is your name, sir? Um... <sighs> yeah, who are you? Who are you? <laughs> Pray, tell me your name, lady. Angela. I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hands. Bearing updated. Mary introduced herself to Andrew and Angela. Is that a good thing, man? She looks Ooh. just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. <laughs> come play what with me. What the fuck what is that? Trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. What the fuck is going on here? Come back here. There you are. There's someone else out here by the fire. What? I I don't see any fire. I saw them too. Are you okay? Yeah, this place is fucked up. This place is all wrong. 
Whatever happened here, it's over now. You have no clue. You didn't see what we saw. I don't get it. What exactly happened here? A little girl appeared. This young girl came out of the fog. Spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. I said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but... She talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? It's British. Well, like... This kid, Mary... New England British. Oh my god, my arm. Did she want to hurt you? Uh... I don't think she actually did. No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Andrew thought the girl he and Angela met meant no harm. Oh, so you told me no? She did? Now what? Seems our only Fuck option me. is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? I mean, yeah, we might not as well go. <sighs> I don't know, it's looking kind of choppy for me at times, like right now. I don't know if it's just... I don't know. I mean, it kind of looks like that at the times too, so... We'll see. Oh, hello sir, how you doing? But I think the guy is uh, Tanya's boyfriend from the start, and he's stuck there. Well, and that he's like 40 or 50 now. Rather quickly. I assume this is 20. Everything that one does or doesn't do in one's life will catch up with one eventually. Don't you okay. think? Okay. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, you're right. Don't look at me. I can't help you. I didn't ask for you. Remember? Me. Right. We you sometimes just didn't drink congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. Right, that makes sense. I get that. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. Okay. These unfortunate folks seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Right. Or maybe she simply is trouble. <sighs> anyway, I don't like how you're putting that on me. Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. What do you mean by that? And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You help make some decisions that will be valuable oh. later on. <laughs> Thank you. So far, so good. You're doing well. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Yeah, and I Clearly forgot to ask him. Disturbing on his mind. I didn't fucking yeah. ask him. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Right. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find. The bus driver. Mm, okay. So yeah, uh, apparently you could talk to uh, Vince or whatever his name was in the bar, but I didn't see it on him, and I don't know how I didn't. But yeah, you you apparently could talk to him. Like she this, sounded though. so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. She's I'm British to from here to she more Angel. like she was oh, yeah, from right, another Angel. time than another place. You're right. Uh, that's accurate. It's more accurate than, like, the other shit. The fucking ambiance and music of this game. Holy shit, dude. It's so good. I mean, we're going to this house, right? I mean, what, what other reason do we have not to? Fuck is that? Oh, it's a sign. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. No. I mean, before we do anything else, let's check all this out. 
Worst case scenario. I figured I can walk faster. Sorry, guys. Uh, Permanition. Okay. That was the bus driver and the gun, so you're telling me Andrew's gonna put the gun to the bus driver's head? For what reason, though? You hear that? What the fuck is that? What was that? What the fuck is that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. Yeah, that sounds completely really small, right. nocturnal, and nothing to worry about. I'm, I'm scared to go over to the sides, but I know that's where the shit's gonna be. Fucking that? god, man. Big ass animal. I hope so, if not, what the <sighs> that makes sense. Okay, I'm less scared about that now. But holy shit! I might get a better view from up there. You go ahead. You go right ahead, buddy. Oh, God damn it! I gotta go. You're done. Wait, wait. Is that something? No, it's just the ground. That's another thing. Is like the ground um, really, really um, lights up. I mean, that's a good thing. Ghost Towns of the Northeast. Ghost Towns of the Northeast, the town returning to nature, the abiding image of a ghost town, and the popular imagination of an arid desert shack, surrounded by tumbleweed. However, ghost towns exist in the lush northeast of the United States, buried away in forest, forgotten and abandoned to nature. The reasons for towns to become ghosts vary, but inevitably comes back to economics. The town may have boomed from logging, mining, or industry. Then the jobs go, and the people with them. The aptly named Little Hope is one such town. A one factory community built around textiles that disappeared when cheap imports overwhelmed the market. After many attempts to save the mill, it closed, and a mass exodus ensued. Soon, the school and even the church closed, leaving a desolate ruin. Oh. Hidden depths. Little Hope is a deserted town, but the forest that surrounded it continued to lure extreme sports enthusiasts. The caverns of Hobbs Deep are famous for ice climbing, but the ice falls are known to be very dangerous. Recommended viewing Architects of Unreadable and uh, Unreadable 10.30 p.m. to 9.30 p.m. Central. In this week's episode, Kate Wilder rips the mask off the Zodiac Killer, but will her hard-hitting investigative style unearth any new facts about the notorious killer? Worth watching for the stunning views of San Francisco taken from the Golden Gate Bridge. Okay. A little bit more of shit that we already knew, but I mean, it's nice to know, actually. I'm not worried about it. Oh, hey, we talked to you. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? <sighs> I don't feel like we're in danger yet. It just makes no sense. I have absolutely no explanation for it. Makes zero sense to me. What is out there? What do you mean by that? What is out there? Just stay calm. You need to stay calm and positive. Panicking won't help anyone, and I, for one, have no intention of spending any longer out here than is absolutely necessary. I'm right with you. Appreciate you checking in with me. Yeah, see, I felt like that was... I wish you'd be like that all the fucking time. Yeah, you're gonna stare at me, aren't you, you little cunt? You little fucking cunt. Scary little cunt. Oh, God, no, it's something in the water. No! What the fuck? What is that? No, I'm not staying here any longer than I have to, buddy. I'm out. No. Why don't you guys just go down that way? Yeah, I'm booking it. Yeah, I'm over there staying away. It's another deer. You ain't gonna scare me this time. No. We have to think about this one. Alright, John. Thanks for blocking my way, apparently. Little Hope Historical Society presents The Witch of Edmonton, a play performed in historical dress at Little Hope Middle School, Saturday, 17th, April, 7 p.m. Is there any more to this? 
God, it looks so beautiful. I love the way this game looks. Okay. Could this have something to do with what we saw? It could be. I'm not going to say it is. I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. I mean, uh, <laughs> I would say the weirder ones isn't that bad, but yeah, I would say otherwise. I'm not going to be scared of this deer because I heard it. I, I know you're going to jump out at me at some point. Whoo! wow, it's really dark that way. Holy shit. I am not feeling that. Oh, I thought we were stopping to talk or something. I see you over there, bitch. Okay, get away from it. I don't trust that. I was trying to be tough, but... I got scared super quick. There's another house. Wait. Hold on, am I tripping? Is the house always there or no? Let me check the thing on this side. This might be something over there. I missed. No, it looks like it's pretty much there. I'm just checking everything all the way around. There's something up ahead! Fuck, which way do we go? Which way? Can we move it? Can we move it? Amen to that. Oh, okay, move it long. Okay, gotcha. I was like, what are you talking about? Move what? Look at that! Hey! <sighs> Wait! Stop! I'm just gonna... Going update. The group saw a girl run from them into the darkness over of a covered bridge. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. Shit, man. What the fuck? Why do you do all that? What the hell do we do now? Look, I think that bridge is... Going into a a definite direction of I'll moving the story this. forward. Stay right here. What the fuck are you gonna do? Authority figure. John confronted the girl at the covered bridge. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I really don't want to go over there, but we have to. Hold up! I'll come with you. We, we, I mean, it's better to have two than one. That's for damn sure. Because he could have went and died if we don't go over there. And of course the fog grows. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Oh boy, wait, who am I, right? I'm Angela. Hey, uh, John, could you get back here? We want the fuck flashlight and everything. Hey! Anyone there? Fuck me, it's gonna be something right behind her or something. Okay. Hello? Anyone? <laughs> what the fuck are you? <laughs> okay, that wasn't that bad. Get off me! John! Oh. Why is it you want from me? Who the fuck are you? Who are you? What are you doing here? These are more. Bang up, dude. Angela was intrigued by her look alike. Times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell yeah, are, what are you? you? Black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you, rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. What the fuck? <sighs> I 
there's Let's a very big mystery it's not here. so far now and it's our best shot at getting help you guys okay I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. Am I? I'm done here. Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Yeah, let's go up the front. I'm, I'm not going Don't to that you town. kids watch horror movies? You never, ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No, no fuck way that. Am I going to I'm going to stand up this time. Because that way is straight, straight to fucking hell or something. I'm I'm with Taylor. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? For me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team okay. up with Taylor. Let's it's not safe you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Right. I mean, it's not such a big deal anyway. I'm saying let's go check this. It, it just looks like just a big ass kid. farm anyway. So, worst case scenario. I'm glad you stuck with me. We've seen it, and then we go back. Andrew, intersection, twelve sixteen a.m. May twenty eighth. So, yeah, we really want to stay close together now. It's only two of us, and if I gotta say something, so. man, can you not stop I'm walking with you, bro? Hold up. You hear that? What the fuck, bro? Why'd you just dip it like that, dude? That's not what we've seen. Andrew saw Vince ride past on his bike near the covered bridge. Okay. Hey, flashlight. Are we okay here? We're good. That noise was just the old guy from the bar on his bike. Stupid old drunk. Uh, somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Are you okay, bro? Because you, like, fucking booked... Hold on. Hold the fucking phone. Oh, there's nothing here? Okay, no, never mind. Sorry. I thought there might be something that could help us. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I he do know to go over that there were witch something. trials and little hope around the same time as Salem. Now what? Oh, hey. What's this? I mean, this is always the thing right here, right? Okay, look. I was scared as shit by that, but I was more surprised by what the fuck okay? I was witnessing. I wonder where the others are right now. I was wondering Feels like it was. it's my fault we split up in the first place. Yeah, I feel responsible yeah. for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Stop worrying about yourself. Stay positive. You gotta stay positive, man. I guess I'd try to stay positive. Do my best. That's all anyone could do. Not sure my best is up to dealing with whatever is going on around us tonight. Okay, yeah, that is definitely one. What but... we saw back there. You think that was really supernatural? Uh, in all honesty, it's looking that way. I mean, sure starting to look that way. 
creepy little girl in the fog than whatever the hell that was back at the intersection? Just because I can't explain what we saw doesn't mean we have to reach the most extreme conclusion. Then what would you say? That's kind of what happened in Little Hope during the witch trials. They made bad decisions based on very little hard evidence. Yeah, I mean, that's true, but... Yeah, this is completely different, man. What's happening now is nothing like what happened back then. Don't be so fast to dismiss what I'm telling you. I'm not, man. The like, come on, dude. You're like, you're, you're, you're going to the extreme. You're like, oh, fuck, there's no way. That's impossible. There's no fucking way. That's What is that? It's gonna be a jump scare. Don't be scared by it. Dude, John be like freaking out. Oh fuck man, I thought I was gonna fuck that up. It's a little meow meow. Find the one from earlier. Alright, well, I definitely want to check shit out here. Exam. Modern magic and ritual? Okay, by Ronald Nelson. Wait, yeah, let's check this. Modern magic and ritual and this definitive guide to the subject of magic for the new age. As opposed to the magic for stage magicians written for practitioners to hone their knowledge in art. This book examines in detail all aspects of modern magic and offers readers a rich menu of rituals to practice. Is there a way I could, like... Oh, okay, I just gotta like, go to the button. Okay. Uh, New Age Curses. Whether you believe in karmic consequences or not, there are ethical considerations to magic such as curses and hexes. These clearly have greater implications than other ethical conundrums, like casting love spells on another person, some paths forbid it entirely, while others permit it only in self-defense. However, there are a number of questions that practitioners should ask before casting a harmful spell. Do you dwell too much on the desired results? You may experience disappointment and depression if the result is not what you expected. Are you performing this magic for personal gain? Emotions of avarice or envy might interfere with the magic. It's said that if you don't let go of a grenade, you will eventually blow yourself up. The same can be said with working harmful magic. Even if you don't believe in the rule of three, it is always best to clear to rule off Steiner's golden rule. For every one step that you take in the pursuit of higher knowledge, take three steps in the perfection of your own character. Knowledge of Higher Worlds and its Attainment, 1904. Illustration. Lock of hair. The hair of a living person can be used in many forms of magic, from love spells to curses. When mixed with sulfur and buried, it can inflict harm on the subject. Interesting. That's weird. That's definitely weird. God, that fixed camera angle was amazing. Holy shit. What the fuck is that? Hold on, what the fuck was that? I'm not sure if that was not an arm. <gasps> this is the gun. This is the gun. This is the gun. Okay, here's my thing though, do we take it though? Four bullets, loaded too. Tool mm -hmm. for survival, Andrew found a gun in an old shack. Alright, we only have one more bearing left to go. So, that's fantastic. <sighs> the one thing I'm worried about, though, is... Is he's kind of unhinged, or confused, at least. Jump scare. Wait a minute. There's something on this tree here. What kind of 
place is this? No, well, obviously the place is in the Roost Trials. You know, I'm starting not to like John. Because when you think about it, he just split up without any fucking hesitation at all. He just booked it because he got fucking scared. And... Indeed. Off chance. Those are some heavy ass footsteps, so I'm not liking that. John's gonna jump out at some point. Go to bed. Professor? Oh, there he is. Wait, what the fuck? How did you get on that side? <gasps> Man. Oh. <laughs> That's how. There you are. You flipped out, man. You flipped out again. Just like you did on the road. You can't blame me for that. I, what the hell yeah, is that in there? I can. Uh, don't worry about it. It was nothing. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. What am I? In second grade? Well, when you're fucking running around like that, I would, I would think so. You know, I'm gonna let it go to about 50 minutes, and we'll see from there. This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. How about your skull? Because you're pissing me off, John. You're really pissing me off. Got a picture? Hell yeah, this boy. Let's get the permission. Witch trials. I'm gonna assume that was telling me to save Angela. Cause that's gonna be my assumption. Look, I like John, but the way he's just fucking willy nilly just running at every turn he can because he's scared, it's not cool, man. It's really not cool. What's this? Oh, God damn it! That's not what I want to do. No, go back. I mean, I, I don't know if there's anything else, and I just I just want to make sure. Okay. okay. Yeah, let's take it. Yeah, boy. That's a big-ass rock. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? Oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. Do you think a rookie could make a shot like that? Looks safe enough. Oh. Ah. Okay. Piece of cake. This is definitely from the demo. 